Alright guys, so uh, I had a problem with one of my virtual machines earlier, uh, this Windows 7, and a uh, good thing I made a clone of it earlier before I started messing around with uh, the couple things I did, because uh, now it won't boot up. So, uh, it's been a while since this clone's been kicking around, and I guess my uh, my little trial date has, uh, has run up, as you can see here. It says this copy of Windows is not genuine. Now, I do get the serial key with school and everything, and I can put it in, but I figured this is a, a great uh, opportunity to show you how to run Windows Loader and activate Windows without the serial key if you don't have it, misplaced it, misplaced your actual disk, or if a uh, few pirators out there that uh, may have downloaded Windows. So, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and start. <coughs> so... For what I'm going to need uh, to start with, I'm going to need uTorrent. So we can go to uTorrent.com and we can click here, free downloads. Now what uTorrent is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to do uh, download the torrent file for our Windows 7 loader off of Pirates Bay or ISO Hunt and stuff like that, whatever your, your torrent site is that you prefer. So we can go ahead and click free downloads for Windows. And uh, yeah, you don't have to sign up. Just click run. We can run it from here. We don't have to, no need to save any file. Now I already have it installed. You'll have to go through a little wizard. Click next, next, next. Um, <clears throat> there is two little things in there where they tried to, uh, to get you to install this uh, system optimizer and, and uh, some other garbage applications like that. So. Just watch what you're doing when you install it. Just click no or uh, don't accept the little things and uh, and you won't get any other little junk on your computer. So we'll start off. We'll go to the piratebay.se. Now you can do piratebay.org just in case they change it because uh, every once in a while this changes. It was SX, it was SE, you know, if they're moving the site around. So we'll start and we'll type in... Windows 7 loader. We'll say no. And then we're going to click this little S, uh, this little SE right here in the, uh, in the top right hand corner, which uh, stands for Cedars and Leechers. So the more Cedars we have, the more people to download, download off of. If it has more Leechers, it's going to be a little slower because there's a lot of people trying to download and a lot less people sharing the file. So the green little skull and bones means the guy is trusted and stuff like that. He's been uploading for a while. So uh, I'll go with him over the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see here, it will tell you, uh, this lo uh, as seen loader, this activator promises to give uh, internal life to the windows, yada, 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 and some other information about the program. And then you can see comments on here if you'd like to read through it, what other people think. So we're going to get this torrent. We're going to download it by clicking right here. Get this torrent right beside the uh, the magnet. Then we're going to go allow for uTorrent. And then don't show this message again, unless you want to see it every time you download a, a torrent. We'll click allow again to allow uTorrent to download this file. It's going to pop open a box, and uh, it's going to show you what you're downloading. Sometimes it takes a while to show up. You can just click OK instead of waiting for it. And you have your uh, your torrent here downloading. So if you want to, you can click it, right click, go bandwidth and select high to speed it up depending on your speed of your internet. And as you can see, we are done. So I'll remove that because I'm more of a leecher than a cedar. So uh, in the options, if you go preferences and directories, you can see or set where you want the file to download. So I just have it set to move to my downloads as soon as it's done. If not, I think it's uh, default to your uh, download directory anyways. So we can go ahead and we can close these pages. And we'll open up my, doc or my users folder. Click downloads in the top left. And as you can see here, we have the Windows 7 loader which I don't have a RAR program for. Alright, if you need, um, I was going to download the program 
with the video pause, but just in case you don't have WinRAR, well, I'll go through that step with you. So we'll open up another one. Uh, Google.ca. Oh. That might help. All right, and we'll just type in WinRAR. It will bring us to uh, <coughs> the website to download, winrar.com slash download. And click download WinRAR. And then download. And then I'm assuming it pops up as it says it's doesn't pop up within five seconds click here oh, so I have it pop up on the top of my uh, Internet Explorer I can right click here and say download file I normally uh, I normally run Firefox so this is a totally different experience for me here uh, I can go ahead and click run again and what this is going to do is it's going to automatically just run the executable instead of downloading it and then me double clicking it Click yes. Click install. And then it's going to ask you what do you want to associate it with. The file types, the default is R8. Click OK. And then click done. So you install the 32 bit version. Da 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 da. And just click OK. <clears throat> so as you can see here now we can unzip this program we can go ahead and double click and then the WinRAR program reopens now it's a free trial so you might get this that pops up but if I'm right this version never actually expires it just asks you to buy it uh, you can click extract to and then it's default set to extract to the file that it's uh, or the folder that it's already set in so unless you want to change where it is, we can uh, just leave it where it is uh, with the default setting. We can click OK, and then uh, once that's done, we'll close it, and we get this file, which looks like we have a couple more here. So what I'll do is I'll extract these. And then we'll take a look in the folder, see what the difference is here. So we have that Windows 7 loader. <coughs> and the Windows 7 loader again. So, um, Actually, what I have found to work sometimes is if I just um, take this file and open this, which has all your serial keys in it. So you can actually try to go ahead and just put the serial key in yourself. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll try to do that now. So we'll go Windows 7 Professional is what I have in. Let's just pick, I have a Sony, so we'll pick this key. We can go Copy. Then we'll click Start, Computer, System Properties at the top left. And let's go activate Windows now. So retype your product key and paste it in. Next. So it might take a second to be verified. If this way doesn't work, I've had this way work before and <clears throat> I had no problems. Then it uh, then you don't have to actually run the program that whoever created out there that we're, we're trusting. Now, you may have to disable your antivirus for the Windows 7 loader, as it will probably come up as a virus. So, but it's, uh, it's just because Windows has an update against them, which I'll show you how to get rid of soon. So, a problem has occurred uh, when Windows is trying to activate a possible fix. So, all right, let's just skip this way and let's run the program as if this way is not working. But before we do that, we're going to have to click start, type in Windows Update, 
and then we can click Windows Update or just hit Enter. And as you can see here, it's just a test machine. I haven't installed very many updates. We can, on the top left, we can say View Update History. And then it says to remove an update, see Installed Updates. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Installed Updates. <clears throat> and it's going to list a bunch of Windows updates that you've had installed. Now, if you can see here up here in the in the taskbar, or uh, well, where the URL used to be uh, for web page, I'm going to type in what you're looking for to remove. As Windows has an update that looks for loaders that will stop this program from actually working. So there's an update out there called KB nine seven one zero three three. Now you're going to look for this number right here within this. Once you find it, we're just going to double click the update and then it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to uninstall this update. Click yes. That will remove the update that's going to stop our loader from working. So we can go ahead and we can close those windows after. And then you're back to the Windows 7 loader. I'm going to right click and run it as administrator and select yes. So as you can see here, we have a profile. We can set it to uh, whatever you want. You run in a Sony computer or an Acer or an H a, uh, HP or whatnot. You can select the serial that you want and, and so on. They have advanced options. But normally I've never had to really uh, touch that. Um, all this is going to do too is it's going to give you the little icon that says, you know, it's a Sony computer or whatnot. You could probably just leave that and let it go with whatever's default. So we can go ahead and we can click install. And then it says the main window will vanish. Don't panic. Uh, this is normal. And then the application will run in the background until everything is installed. Do not turn off the system while this installation is in progress. So go ahead and click OK. And then what will happen as I find is I let it run in the background and it normally will power down the computer itself and put it through a reboot cycle. So the loader cer certificate and serial were successfully installed. Okay, so in this case it's not going to restart it for us. We're going to have to restart it manually. So we'll go ahead and we'll click restart. So I'm just going to pause the video for a second while we go through this uh, restart process. Okay, so now that Windows has booted uh, to the login screen, we can log in like normal. And we'll see that if our Windows is uh, genuine or not. So as you can see here, we no longer have uh, Windows is, is not genuine. And to make sure that Windows is genuine, we can go ahead, we can click Start, go Computer again. In the top left, we have System Properties. And as you can see here, it says Windows is activated. So just as if you installed the actual Windows CD or serial key that came with your computer or that you bought from the store and now we can get all the updates that Windows is uh, is dishing out to Windows 7, Windows 8 and whatnot and uh, I can now reset a nice little background from the black one that they uh, they make you have when it's not activated. So I hope you learned something from the little tip today and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.